Um, well, I don't know. Is this a new fish? Is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, it's angry. It spits fire. Um, and I am horrible and not on fire. Uh, <laughs> I should really make a bow. Fire resist helps. Um, try again. All right, let's <laughs> stop moving. This will be so much easier if you'd stand still. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know how many times we need to hit this thing to kill it. Um, oh yeah, two times. All right, and we got a guest here. Excellent. One, and welcome to another episode from Console Craft. S this is season three. As you can see, everything is new. We're on a new starter island. Let's say hi to Snoop real quick. Um, yeah, so we reset. We restarted just like everybody else. Um, and we are playing on a mushroom island. So let's pop the map. Um, you can't really see it. I guess I'll have to go down and explore it. We've got quite a few members on the server at the moment. Um, I did jump on here a little bit and just grab a little bit of wood. So I wouldn't have to worry about starting out. Uh, so let's make a couple of things and let's chat for a second while I gather some cobblestone for some better tools. <clears throat> so with the addition of or the uh, aquatic update and all the things that it's added, we went ahead and of course decided to reset our server as well. Um, I joined console craft in season two. There was a season before me. That's why I said, welcome to season three. Um, it's awesome. Everybody's excited. Everybody's hyped. I'm hyped. Obviously, we've got quite a few members on the server. Um, I played clear up until the end of, of Season 2. Off and on, I actually pushed out two videos after we had already talked about a reset. So, <coughs> wanted to keep them going. Then I broke away, did some redstone, some testing, getting prepared for this world. Um... Did some cruising around in a creative version of this world to kind of figure out where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. So, um, let's see. We're going to head over to the spawn island. And please know, <laughs> I don't need a death this early. <coughs> and we'll continue chatting about the reset and a couple of different things. And then... Um, I'm going to grab myself, obviously, some, some steak, and then we'll continue on our journeys. We're going to go and find where we want to set up, get some basic things. Uh-oh, and he was slain by a zombie. And then uh, I'm going to do some exploring. So one thing I want to do different for this season is a challenge, okay? And that challenge is going to involve armor. I want to make myself not craft armor. I only want to wear armor that I find in the world. So either from slaying mobs or treasure chests or dungeon loot, any of that stuff, but I'm not going to craft armor. So the only way for me to get diamond armor is to get to the end, which is going to prove to be difficult if I try to solo the um, <clears throat> dragon. Uh, as you can see, we're cruising through here. People have kind of set up some basic things in the world. Um, this map is pretty pretty decent size, so this is going to be a nice starter island, <coughs> as well as the fact that mobs don't spawn on Mushroom Island. So, uh, hello Snoop! <laughs> hey! How's it going? Um, let's continue on. So one thing I want to, I guess, ask or put to you guys as a vote as the viewers is should I go ahead and roll enchantments on the armor that I find and if so should it be a book and anvil only type enchanting or should I be allowed or should I allow myself to roll the enchantments in the enchantment table so leave a comment below let me know what you guys think we're gonna we're gonna play through like this it's going to be fun it's going to be challenging <clears throat> and it's going to add a little bit of a twist to this season for myself. So we're kind of breezing through the island here. There's not much to see. I'm, I've am i already got a 
everything that I need. And we're going to break off. We're going to head south. And I've got an area in mind. <clears throat> and we will see. Hopefully it's not occupied. And <laughs> yeah, she was AFK. Um, let's see. We got, a we got a boat. A brute. A spruce boat. So it's a brute. It's a brute. And let's head out. Um, we got to be careful. There are new mobs, so we can't just stop. And, and we got to pay attention. So, all right. I will be back momentarily. All right. So, the area I went to was occupied. <laughs> I wanted to build in an iceberg. Um, but I need to finish filling that in. We are over here in a swamp. I was just going to AFK here <clears throat> and collect some slime, but I figured, you know what? Why not build in a swamp? We're just a little south of the starter island, a couple thousand blocks, no big deal. <coughs> and uh, we got ourselves a good little setup here. Also, if you notice in the upper left-hand corner, we do have coordinates on. It's not something we had in the other season, so... This is the reason for being in a swamp. Got a little bit of slime balls. We have been busy. Um, I've gone around already, been mining. I've found the uh, stronghold. I've found quite a few desert temples, some treasure maps, um, and sunken ships and ruined cities. <clears throat> and we got ourselves a setup. <laughs> I've already got another portal going on. We're trying to gain some levels now to do some enchanting. Um, I went out. And found the stronghold to get books and I took those I think I had seven stacks of books and took those what, five of stacks to spawn so I did find myself some armor so as you can see we're decked out <laughs> it's not the best but this is what we're going with man it's the challenge it's gonna be fun i um, got some starter farms oh yeah and they fixed this the baby zombies and stuff do burn in the daylight um, got some starter pumpkin and melons going on, some sugar cane, um, enchantment set up here. This is why I went to go get the books for everybody. We got some chickens going on, and I'm really digging this swamp. Um, the stronghold is that way, that's what I was pointing to. I'm digging the swamp because it's kind of down in a valley. There's another swamp about a 150 blocks to the north of me. That's, it's alright, it's a good swamp, it's no big deal. But this one just is kind of in a valley, so I'm really liking it. Um, so, <coughs> cruising on to some of my old worlds and doing the achievement hunting I was doing before the restart, I realized I used to do a lot of automation, a lot of farming, and a lot of stuff like that. And then we kind of broke away from that, and... Uh, I want to get back to doing a little bit of automation and farming and stuff like that. So I'm going to do some automation. We're going to do some building. Ooh, we got some caves to explore too. I found an abandoned mine shaft. I started digging down for a uh, um, strip mine and found an abandoned mine shaft. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but anyway, we want to do a combination of what we did on Season 3 of Console Craft and a combination of what we were doing on our single player series. And oh yeah, Trident. We got ourselves a good one. We found a couple of books. Um, with channeling, we got ourselves quite a bit of... We got some Hearts of the Seas, we got another little Trident. So we got another channeling book. But I found one with Loyalty 3 and an Unbreaking 3. So we've got an Enchanted Apple. Some Diamonds. We're looking good. We've got another Unbreaking 3 and another Loyalty 3 book here as well that we found. So, <clears throat> I don't remember what the other enchantments were, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, we got a good little a good little setup here. I want to gather up some items to do some building. So, we are going to build a base. That's happening. <laughs> Not like before. So, let me gather up some things, and I will be back momentarily all right <clears throat> um hello hi <laughs> we're still we're still donning the armor that we have had we did some enchanting got a fortune three pickaxe um looting three sword it's not that great 
and we got a pretty nice axe. I was able to add the efficiencies on it <clears throat> from some other books I found. I have gone 10,000 blocks west and south of my base. So we got another looting three, but neither one of them rolled very good. So we will just have to continue. And I got four wither skulls from cruising in the nether. And I do have the 11 eyes of ender needed to open up the uh, portal to go fight the ender dragon. <clears throat> Did make us an ender chest as well. So anyway, inside this chest here, I've got a few items set aside for us to start building. Now I laid down a base um, here of what I want to do. <clears throat> this is a 25 by 25 block square pretty much and for those of you that have watched me long 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 time ago I did a base <clears throat> it was my third video it was a base tour and I had a little pyramid that used to go down into my base and that's what I'm recreating here is that pyramid but it's going to be a little bit different style than what I did Obviously, I tend to build with nether brick and nether rack and the red nether brick and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be a little different. We are just going to build with stone bricks and natural textures. And we're going to make this kind of look ruined. And I think it's going to be really cool unless I mess up. So I'm going to build up this little corner with you guys. I'll show you the texturization that I want to do. And then I'm going to break away and finish this. This way you don't have to continue to hear me yak, 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 yak. Um, so we go up two, we go two across, up two, two across, so on and so forth. It's a very easy <clears throat> pattern to follow. This does resemble a Mayan temple, but it's not 100%. And we have fire tick off, so I want to light that and see if that stays throughout this clip. And... Uh, See, I'm trying to make sure that I catch everything. Oh, with the restart, uh, I was talked about after the first part of the aquatic update released. And uh, obviously, we have been playing on the other server for a while. So it was talked about in the community, should we reset? Because of all the new additions and the fact that we've had to go so far to explore and find some of the new stuff. And the general consensus was, yes, let's um, start over and we'll wait for the second part of the aquatic update to come out and then we'll reset. So that pushed uh, a lot of people were busy as it was at that time. And then, of course, a lot of people stopped playing because we were talking about a reset. But the beauty of the reset is we got a lot of people that kind of fizzled off towards the end there are back. And it's nice to see the server busy no matter when I come on. There's typically people on. Um, there's about four days in between the first, second, and this clip. So we've just been, just been busy um, exploring. Like I said, I went um, 7,000 blocks or 7,000, 10,000 blocks in one direction. And then we went 10,000 blocks south <clears throat> and then cruised back. So. It's been fun, and I keep falling. <laughs> um, one thing that was... I need, I'm going to put stairs up like this. It's a three-wide staircase. It'll go all the way up to the top. And then I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do at the top. Anyway, one of the things that the main guy, Danny, the main man, Dan, <laughs> was talking about during the reset was fire... And just the sheer amount of work that he put into his base and then myself with the YouTube series. So um, we, we chatted, cleared everything up. It was no big deal, really, <coughs> for the reset. And everybody agreed on it. It was community agreement. Of course, I don't think anybody didn't want the reset. <laughs> and we, we reset. So here we are. Um, I missed this. There we go. And then jump up. Four and perfect. <clears throat> so we've added a, a ton of members as well. That is still lit. So that's another reason for the reset is just getting everybody back on the same page. 
Um, going out and exploring was a pain. Trying to find an elytra. Took me four hours to find my first one. So <clears throat> hopefully we'll get everybody together. I have all the stuff and the location of the end portal. Um, so probably get a group together. Hopefully a time when I can stream and we'll stream the dragon fight. And there's going to be a wither boss battle soon. So, so many things. <laughs> I found a good uh, double blaze spawner. They're less than 16 blocks apart. So that would be good to get going as well. We've got so many plans, but first things first. I'm not sleeping out underneath the stars for an entire season again. So I want to do some lights in the corner here. And I'm not sure if I should go glowstone or if we should do... Redstone lamps. Magma blocks would look cool, but unless they fix the feature <clears throat> of them um, retaining their light value, there's no point in even trying. I am going to make a little bit of red nether brick here. I don't think that it's going to go very well with um, the bricks, but we'll give it a shot. So... <clears throat> also, I forgot to mention, we got potatoes, carrots, wheat going. I've got a temporary nether wart farm going. So we are going to move all of that. <clears throat> we are going to have a base. We are going to be focusing on that, and we are going to be um, automating some things. So let's see. We need the uh, cracked, the mossy. We need regular nether brick, and then we'll try the red. Um, <clears throat> who's building... Yeah, there's a lot of people on, a lot of people doing stuff. So we'll do stuff like that, with, and we'll play with the different um, indents that the stairs can create. And the nether brick looks awesome next to the stone brick, I think. Um, let's see. If we punch these away and we place a stair like that and then a stair like that, we can also get a little bit bigger of a punch in. <coughs> hey, Marvel. Um, and then of course we could just do, you know, two stairs side by side. There's all kinds of different ways we can place the stairs down and get some decent little, uh, cracks and stuff, make them look weird. We could really go crazy with it. I don't think we will, but, um, one thing I want on each side is I want at least a couple of holes. I want at least one stone, uh, mossy stone, one crack stone and one nether brick. But the red just doesn't look that great. So, and it's not going to look great when I put vines and stuff like that. So I think we'll just stick to the nether brick. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And the fact that we don't have fire tick on is nice. Is that flame still lit? So we could do fire. <clears throat> Let's grab, well, we got, I don't know why these are different. Interesting. Um, we will play with some leaves. We will play with some vines. It's something that I've never really done in any of my series, but I think look, making this thing look ruined will fit inside the uh, swamp very well. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't go wrong placing leaves. You just can't. <laughs> you just can't go wrong placing leaves down. Don't matter what you do. So, yeah, that's still lit. That's awesome. Um... And of course, the vines will grow, and they'll spread, and they'll move over, and maybe we can even get them to grow in kind of in front of the stairs, like if we place it, I don't know, here instead of here. Put it here, and then it'll grow in front of that. That'd look cool. So, yeah, I've just got to, I guess, go through. We're going to, we've got, what, three more corners to do? I'm definitely going to need to go mining and get some more cobblestone and all that and smelt it up, blah, 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 blah. And then for now, we're just going to have entrances poked in, like so, to get into the pyramid. And then uh, I'll have to do some digging. That'll be later. It won't be this episode. And we will start taking our base downward and inward. It's going to be awesome. So, place these last couple of stairs. And then I'm going to break away and build the rest of this. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm done. All right. Well, that took a little bit longer than I expected, and we've gone through and we've cut down a few more trees. We've been uh, taming, uh, tending to our farms. Goodness gracious. But we finished it. 
<laughs> we got a little bit of a path leading out of the nether portal. Um, let's see. Let's grab some gravel. We'll head over and kind of look at this thing from an upward view. And I think it turned out really, really awesome. <clears throat> uh, the inside looks kind of boring. We did go with the redstone lamps. And then I left the middle section open. And we're using light blue because that's the dye that's naturally found here in the swamp. So I'm trying to use things found here in the swamp. I think it looks cool. We can get a little 5x5 five five beacon going eventually. That would be pretty neat. Um... I, I was going to cut down a lot of these trees, but I think I'm actually going to replant some of the trees and just get the natural foliage back in order. But this thing, this thing's awesome. So <clears throat> I hope you guys are liking it. I've got a base. I'm not living underneath the stars like I have um, in the previous season. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And look, the sun is setting behind us. As we say, we'll see you on the next one.